In the last video, we created the label map file. We now need to apply the label map file so we can see the Z values displayed on our view. Once these Z values are displayed by using this label map file, we can then output this data to AutoCAD or plot it out to a piece of paper. The way to apply a label map file in 12D is to go to File I.O., go down to Label Map Files, then down to Apply. Once you have this panel open, we simply choose the data we wish to label. So in this case, I have several models turned on, so I'm going to label all the data in my view. And then I select my view, and as you can see down the bottom left hand corner, it is view number one. Map in info. So this is where we select our label map file that we created in the last video. So if I click on the folder icon, left click, you can see natural surface labels dot label underscore map file was the map, the label map file that we created in the last video. So I'm going to select this label map file. Once we select our label map file, you will remember that we selected a model to put these labels in. Remember these are Z values, so it's the height panel that we've got to fill in. And if you recall it, the height or the label we gave it was height text. So this will place all these Z values that we that are dictated inside the label map file into a model called height text. So now if I go label, so left click on the label icon at the bottom left of the panel, should say finish, turn on this model to display our labels. So if I go to the plus icon, scroll down, and you should have a model called height text. Turn that on, and we should get a whole bunch of red labels displaying the Z values of these natural surface spot heights. Now if I go back into the label map file and open it up, to do that go to File IO, Label Map Files, Create Slash Edit, where it says label map file, click on the folder icon and choose the one we just used. So choose natural surface labels dot label underscore map file. Select read. And now if you remember, because there's Z value, so it's height text data. And this is what we gave it. So remember what this is the name I was talking about. Height text was the label name. And that's the model name we give it the same. Now the color and the size is dictated in the text style data panel here. So if I double click on there, if we want to change this color of the text, so if I now want to make it orange and I want to make it twice as big, so I give it a height of two. And as we zoom in, if I zoom into this one here, you can see, when I zoom in, you can see the points, if I do a string inquire, you can see the point is in the middle center. So that's why the point or the vertex is attached to this label is in the middle of the label. So I'm going to change the justify and I'm going to make it bottom left. So the point will be down here or the label will be attached bottom left of the text. What I might also do is give it an angle. So I might make it 45 degrees. It'll be rotated 45 degrees. What I'll do is set this, finish. I'm just going to give it a slightly different new name up the top. If you don't give it a new name and you, you've got to save it. So if I went right now, it's going to overwrite the last label map file. So what I normally do is just put revisions on the end. So you might have a couple of different label map files you might use for different clients. So now if I go right, that's saved. As you can see down the bottom, file saved. And if I click on finish, and now what I'm going to do is just quickly delete that height text model that we um, created. Go to Models, Delete, Delete a Model, choose the height text, select, I'm just going to permanently delete it so it doesn't go to the trash bin, delete. And now what I will do is keep this the same, except remember, now choose our new Revision 1 map file that we just created, this one here, and select that from the list. Now if we go Label and turn on the height text model again, there we go. So now our labels are now orange, they're twice as big, and it's on, they're on a 45 degrees. So it's very handy, easy to manipulate and change. And now you can see if I do a string inquire, you can see the points are now attached to the bottom left of the text because we changed the justification. So now we've created our labels, we're now ready to do a, 
a basic plot now out to, we'll plot out to AutoCAD and we'll also plot out to a uh, PDF or a printer.